all you Fairview fifth graders, future King Creek Hurricanes. I'm Miss Dalton, one of the assistant principals. Hey guys, I'm Chris Kirby. I'm one of the school counselors for half of sixth grade. Uh, normally we'd be doing this presentation in person, but with COVID and everything, we're gonna be doing it using a slideshow today. And we are going to give you an overview of what life as a sixth grader at King Creek looks like, some people you need to meet and some class choices you have available for you to take. It's Ms. Dalton again. First up on the list of people you need to know are your administrative team. You have your principal, Ms. Mason, myself, Ms. Dalton, one of the assistant principals, and Mr. Washell, the other assistant principal. Hey guys, it's Mr. Kirby again. Uh, in this picture, you're going to see that I'm in my awesome office. I love superheroes. I hope you get a chance to come by and see me. You're also going to get a chance to meet Ms. Womack. She is going to be the counselor for half of sixth grade next year. Uh, I hope you get a chance to know her. Next, our school resource officer, Officer Anders. He is here every day to help keep us safe. Uh, next, we're going to take a look at our awesome sixth grade teachers. I, th I think you guys are going to get a real kick out of them. First, we have Ms. Tatum. She teaches math and science. Next up, we have Ms. Jacobly. She teaches ELA and social studies. Next, we have Dr. Alexander. She teaches math and social studies. Next up, we got Ms. Heffernan. She teaches ELA and social studies. Last but not least, we have Mr. Brenda Watt. He teaches science and social studies. Uh, we're going to talk real quick to you guys about your schedule for next year. So in sixth grade, you have math, ELA, social studies, and science all year. Those are considered your core classes. So let's talk about your elective schedules. So next year, our whole year is split into two halves. The first half of the year is the first semester. The second half is the second semester. You guys get four electives a year. So that means you take two electives the first semester, two electives the second semester. Next year, health and PE is required, so that leaves you guys three electives to pick for next year. Now, if you pick band or year-long chorus, you'll get to pick two extra electives because band and year-long act as one long elective. Hello, future Hurricanes. I am Kim Mason, principal of Cane Creek Middle School. Check out some of the amazing classes we offer that will prepare you for your future. I am looking forward to meeting you and watching you grow as a hurricane. We'd like to welcome sixth graders from Fairview Elementary. I'm Coach Clark. This is Coach Anderson. Hi, guys. We're looking forward to having y'all here. Uh, we do a lot of fun games. We do everything from bowling to hockey to badminton to volleyball. We do four square tournaments, basketball tournaments. Um, we have a health curriculum to teach you how to get healthy, stay healthy, be healthy. Uh, and we are looking forward to seeing you soon. Hey everybody, I'm Mr. Smith and I teach at Cane Creek Middle School and for sixth grade I teach computer science discoveries and it is a, an amazing course where you get to create things and make changes to the world. So if you like to create web pages and create apps and create innovative things then you definitely want to take my course. Hey guys, I'm Cindy Gosnell and I teach careers in sixth grade and also child care for sixth grade. And if you would like to join our child care class, we do a lot of learning about safety and how to take care of infants and toddlers and children that are not in school, the little kids. Uh, for careers, we learn about what career would be best for you and what you're interested in. A lot of stuff's project-based and it's a lot of fun, a lot of uh, exciting things that we do, and the best thing of all is we have no homework. Buenos dias, clase. Yo me llamo Señor Rubio. Yo soy profesor de español at Can Creek Middle School. If you want to learn what I just said, please sign up for Spanish at Can Creek Middle School. You will learn basic Spanish from me, colors, numbers, and other great things. Thank you and have a good day. Adios. Hey, Fairview Elementary fifth graders, this is Mr. Dodson. I'm the band director over at Cane Creek Middle School, and I'm here to tell you why you should sign up for band class at Cane Creek Middle School. The first thing I want to talk to you about is um, having an instrument. It is fun to play an instrument, and it's fun to have an instrument. I even like kids who like to carry the case into school. Um, so uh, having an instrument is a great thing. It's a great life skill. Um, the next thing I want to talk to you about is um, 
the versatility of our instruments. We can play our instruments in all kinds of ensembles. If you are in band, if you learn to play the instruments that we have in band, you can also play in orchestra, the Asheville Youth Symphony. You could play in the marching band at the high school. You can do all kinds of things uh, with the instruments that we learn. Um, another important thing is that we go places, we do things. Uh, we get to go out, we go out, Cane Creek Middle School bands. We have been to uh, Disney World, we played in Florida, we have played at Carnegie Hall in New York City. Uh, when COVID hit, uh, we were going to play in Chicago. Uh, we like to go places, we like to do things. And so uh, I would love for you guys to come be a part of the band and what's happening over at Cane Creek. Another important thing is if you are signing up for band, the only time you can ever sign up for band is in the sixth grade. So this is a really big decision and I think you should all give it a try uh, and see how it goes. Uh, I have a lot of kids who kind of did band their sixth grade year and they weren't real sure about it and they loved it. So um, I encourage you guys to come on out and give it a try and I look forward to seeing you guys next fall. Do you consider yourself the glamorous type? Or maybe you are the type that just likes to clown around. Or maybe you're a little artistic and love the arts or you're into mystery and adventure maybe you just like a good story whatever your interest whatever your talent there could be a place for you in creative dramatics in Creative Dramatics, we create theater from the beginning stages of playwriting through the ending bows. Creative Dramatics develops lifetime skills such as poise, voice production, creative thinking, and teamwork. In Creative Dramatics, we work to succeed, but we have fun doing it. Hi, I'm Miss Booth. I play the cello and I teach orchestra here at King Creek Middle School. I would love for you to join me in my class and I'm going to give you a couple reasons why I think you should join orchestra. Number one is it's just a great way to make friends. The people that I met in orchestra in middle school, they're still my friends today. Another reason is that music makes you smarter. It's going to help you with math and science and reading and it's just really good for your brain. And another reason is that music is a great way to express yourself and be creative. So I hope you'll join us. Hello, I'm Mr. Poss Michelle. I'm the art teacher here at Cane Creek. Um, there are three reasons why I'd like you to take my art class. The first one is art fosters a growth mindset. I believe everyone's an artist and you come into my classroom, try different things and improve in your art making skills. The second reason why I'd like you to take my class is um, art helps you know yourself and if you know yourself you can set your own goals and you can appreciate others' perspectives and other, other cultures. Um, and the third one is we have fun taking art seriously, okay? So in my class we work with a variety of me mediums, we'll do animation, ceramics, painting, um, puppetry, and I keep it interesting and fun. Hey guys, um, my name is Ms. Strickler and I'm the chorus teacher at Cane Creek and I'm here just to talk to you about some of the great things you have to look forward to in chorus next year. So first of all, I mean one of the best things, if you love music and you love games, you'll have a great time. If you already love your music class, then we play games all the time and quite honestly it's pretty easy. You rarely, rarely have homework. Um, number two, a lot of people really like this one. If you're involved in the year-long advanced classes, we, we do a lot of traveling. So some people get to travel individually, like they audition for outside choirs in places like Greensboro or um, even national choirs in Alabama or New York City, random places. It just depends on the choir that you audition for. And we've even traveled as a group to Disney World or New York City or even places like Charlotte to just to go to um, Carowinds and compete and enjoy the amusement park. So that's a big perk. But really the best thing is that you get to hang out with your friends. So you're going to have friends that take chorus just like you do. And you're going to think, oh my gosh, 
I actually get to see you today because some of those people you won't have classes with the rest of the day. So you're gonna get to chorus and think, yes, this is the best ever because I get to see my BFF. Yes, I just said BFF, don't judge me. Um, and it's a really great time because they're like part of your family and you meet new people that are like new family to you in chorus class. So uh, I can't wait for you to join us next year at Cane Creek. Now that you've seen all of your elective option choices, make sure that you choose your electives on the registration Google form as soon as you can. It is very important that you turn this in or your electives will be chosen for you. As we are ending, we want to show you a video of a couple tips that will help you be successful here at King Creek. My name's Dagny. I'm Leo. And here's some tips to help you with middle school. Remember, you can use your hands as a way to find your way around the school. You have the cafeteria, eighth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade hallways, and the gym. You have 10 minutes in the morning to make sure you have everything you need. And phones are off and in your locker. Remember to memorize your locker number and your combo. And remember, it's right, left, right. Prepared to go to class. Now you have five minutes between class change to go to the bathroom, talk to your friends, and get water. Your laptop. Make sure you charge it every day and bring your charger just in case. Attitude is everything. And if your PBIS bracelet is called, you can even get a piece of candy. Remember to always have a hall pass with you, especially when you're going to the office. Hi, can you point me to the court office? Yeah, you gotta go down that hallway right there. If you need help, ask for it. Keep going. Welcome to the cafeteria. Here are some tips. You can catch up with your friends here. If you have a PBIS press that you can sit anywhere. Make sure to clean up your mess. Make sure to get involved in eye time, swim club, ski club, math counts, manage a team, battle the books, DI, and, and chorus. chorus. Don't stress and ask some questions. Hey, make sure to check power school every week and have a planner. Welcome to Cane Creek Middle School. If you all come up with any questions that you may ask or you just want to chat about what middle school will look like, feel free to email us. Uh, our emails are there and we will be happy to talk to you and we look forward to having you here with us at Cane Creek.